We all react differently to celebrity deaths. I once had a neighbor who had framed pictures of Elvis Presley on all four walls of her apartment. Uh, I had friends call me after Frank Sinatra died because I'm a fan. Friends I hadn't talked to in a long time. People were upset. I was upset when John Lennon died. We all have deaths. For me, Harry Chapin was a big one. But I'll tell you what, Arnold Palmer died a few days ago. And as a boy, he was my hero. Arnold Palmer, who brought to golf what Muhammad Ali brought to boxing, or you can make any comparison you want. Uh, Magic Johnson and Larry Bird did for the NBA. Arnold Palmer was a hero. He brought golf into the everyman category. He made it okay and cool for the middle class. Before Arnold Palmer, it was an elite game on country clubs, private courses, and the golfers were pear-shaped. Palmer was an athlete. He was fit. He had strong muscles. Jim Murray, the sports writer for the LA Times, once said, Arnold Palmer has forearms as solid as truck stop coffee. When he walks into a tea box, it's like a pirate boarding a ship. And as a, as a young person, we would go five hours to Jack Nicklaus's tournament in Columbus. And I would watch Arnold Palmer. He was too old to win. This was 1980. He hadn't won it since 73. But I would follow him. He was my hero. And the second day of that tournament, we were there on Friday. Palmer birdied one, two, three, and four. He birdied the first four holes. And I'm telling you, the earth shook. Grown men, men in their 60s, were at a dead run. Go get him, Marty! Go get him! He pulled, hitched up his pants like he always did in the old films. His neck was bulging. His veins were popping. He walked to the 50, and on the fourth green, they had a big leaderboard. And the leader was Roger Maltby. I'll never forget, but they put Palmer's name in second place. And I'll tell you, there was electricity in the atmosphere. There were men in suits. And one man, I'll never forget, who watched the fourth hole birdie, bib overalls and no shirt. And he said, come on, Arn, get another. He was Americana. He was Norman Rockwell. He was Brett Favre, in a way. And you could say Brett Favre was Arnold Palmer. Everybody loved Arnie. Arnie, uh, when there was a controversy at Shoal Creek in Alabama over not having black members back in 1990, Palmer, who missed the cut that year, went to the clubhouse and shook the hands of all the cooks and the waiters and thanked them all for what they did for the tournament. Arnold Palmer was class. He signed autographs. You could read his name when he signed them. He had time for everybody, no matter what station in life they might have been in. Arnold Palmer is a hero, and as Garson Kanan said, no one is indispensable, but there are a few people who are irreplaceable. And Arnie, you are one. You're still my hero, and you always will be. And those are my two cents. My two minutes are brought to you by Capital Consultants and Edge Construction. Mike Tuig and his staff can redo your kitchen, your basement, your bathroom, your staircase, or make your home feel just like home. We can talk about this and more on the radio tomorrow at 8 on 92.1 FM, The Mike, The Mitch Hanks Show. Talk to you then.